Welcome to Tejas Education. Today we are going to learn about how aluminium is produced. Let's learn how aluminium is manufactured. This is the first square. Here you see it is written bauxite. It is the raw material of aluminium industry. We have learned that, right? It is very bulky and heavy. And where do we get bauxite from? We get it from bauxite quarry. Quarry is the place from where the minerals are extracted, right? Deep pits are uh, dug inside the earth crust and with the help of machines, the minerals are extracted, mining. Then this bauxite is carried with the help of railway or ship as it is very he heavy and bulky. Now it is taken to refinery. Refinery is the place where the impurities are removed from the raw material. Here bauxite is having impurities which has to be removed. So bauxite is crushed and we get alumina. Alumina is nothing but aluminium oxide, Al2O3. Okay, and you will be learning in detail in higher grade like bauxite is mixed with caustic soda and that helps to dissolve alumina out. Okay, as of now, you should know that it is crushed and we get alumina dissolved out. Where is it happening? Inside the refinery. Now, this alumina is shipped to the site of smelter. Here, this is the site means the place where the alumina smelter is established. Along with that, they take calcinated petroleum coke from a refinery. It is a co-product which is found in a refinery. So what is the role of it? It is important in forming anode. So why we are mentioning anode here means here what exactly is taking place inside the smelter? You see it, electricity is written here. Here electrolysis is taking place. Anode is the positive and cathode is the negative. You have learned this in chemistry also. So here electrolysis is taking place. Along with calcinated petroleum coke, pitch from colliery. Colliery is coal mine. What is the role of pitch again? It is an important raw material for aluminium smelting. It is acting as a binding agent for anode. It binds the anode. So these three are taken here. Before that, you see cryolite is written. What is the role of cryolite? Cryolite is added along with alumina inside the smelt because cryolite helps in lowering the melting point of alumina. Alumina has very high melting point. So high amount of electricity has to be used. So that will be more expensive. So this cryolite will help to lower the melting point. And you can ask why electricity because alumina does not dissolve in water. It will work on, it can be melted only with the help of electricity. So hope it is clear. Let's go back to the first square. The raw material is bauxite. We get it from bauxite quarry. Then we, it is transported to rail or ship. It is taken to aluminium refinery where the impurity is removed. We get alumina. Then alumina along with calcinated petroleum coke pitch is taken to the smelter. And inside the smelter, alumina is mixed with cryolite. Okay, it is mixed because it will lower the melting point of alumina. Thereby, it saves energy. Right? Saves energy for electricity. Now, let's learn about the electrolysis taking place inside an aluminium smelt. If this is the wall of the smelter, the standing line, it is made of iron and it has coating of carbon, it acts as cathode. Cathode means negative. Now let's draw a line to show the base of the smelter. I'm extending, I'm drawing a vent out. I'll tell you later why I'm drawing. Then I'm showing the other wall of the smelter. So if you see, there is one more standing line here. It is the anode, the positive, positively charged graphite right this is the negative this is the positive that is the anode we know that inside the smelter alumina and cryolite are mixed 
and there is the electricity source here. So if the current passes, what will happen? The aluminum ion, they get attached to cathode and the oxygen ion are attracted to anode. Here aluminum is positive ion and oxygen is negative. So the positive ion is getting attracted to negative, the negative is getting attracted to positive and this oxygen is released outside as gas. Now here what is formed here? Aluminium is formed and this aluminium is tapped out through this vent. Okay, this is a simple explanation of the electrolysis that is taking place inside the aluminium smelter and we get aluminium here. Okay children, thanks for watching. Please do consider subscribing, share, like this video of Tejas Education.